So yeah, you're dealing with a bunch of complicated stuff and you need to, you need to stop and ask yourself, what does my answer need to be in? And you're like, my answer needs to be in calories per gram, right? Because you're trying to find the latent heat of fusion of something, you know, or I don't know. And so when you're doing your calculations, you're like, yo, I better be multiplying by some stuff that cancels out and ends up with calories per gram. And if I'm not doing that, then I'm using the wrong formula or I'm messing up because I can't have my, my answer be in calories squared because that's stupid. <laughs> right? <laughs> so that so units are helpful because if you're like, let me multiply this stuff. Calories squared today. Yeah. I'm burning so many calories. I got like area covered <laughs> of calories. Right? Yes, yeah, so calories around. Yeah. <laughs> Just a radius of burn. Um, <laughs> So, but do you see what I mean? That if, if you keep track of your units, you know when your answer is stupid yeah. because of the units. But if you, don't have, if you don't know your units, if you're just like, I'm going to do a bunch of math, get a number, and then put calories per gram at the end, then you can totally do it wrong and then say, I got the right units. But if you, if you track your units along the way, it can be super helpful. So anyway, um, so there's a process for this. So we're going to convert three miles per hour into yards per week. Uh, so we'll say three miles over hour, right? I, I use fractions. Um, and then say, hey, we're going to multiply by some stuff. Uh, we need to convert miles into yards, and then we need to convert hours into weeks. So um, Hours at, divided by how many hours should we need? Okay, so yeah, we can, do, we can do the hour stuff. 24 hours in one day. Yeah, so hours, we need to do hours per day. 24 hours are in one day, and then uh, hours are going to cancel. Seven day one week. And then we want we want days to cancel, so we'll put day up top and week in the bottom, and there's seven days in one week. So that way, day day those cancel. So now we have miles per week. And then miles to yards. And then we want, yeah, we want to get from miles to yards. So uh, mile, I'll put miles in the bottom because I want those to cancel. Be the one. Yeah, see what I'm talking about when I'm like, yeah. I want stuff to yeah. cancel? Like like day day to yeah, huh. yeah, a little daisy chain. And then, so I want miles to cancel. So miles to feet, I know, is 5,280. Five, five, and then how many, well, I want to get, oh, let's see, miles cancel, cancel. And then we want to go from feet to yards. So how do I set that up? One yard. I'm, or one yard over three feet. One yard. one yard is three feet. And then so feet cancel. Ugh. And then the, the remaining units are yards and weeks. Wait. So we'll do three times 24 times seven times 5280 times one. And then we'll divide by three. We'll, we'll, we'll divide by three. Five, two, well, eight, the three is going to cancel. Oh, we can cancel the threes. Oh, you're a genius. Three uh, divided by three. Amazing. All the ones or who cares. Twenty-four thousand seven times five. Twenty-four. So, and then you get five thousand two hundred eighty yards. No, twenty-four times seven times fifty-two eighty. Yes. Uh, uh, is it eight hundred eight seven seven zero four zero? Yeah. Yeah. Eight eight seven zero. Eight seven zero four eight eight two eight at the start. Uh, another eight. Oh two oh two eight eight seven seven seventy forty seventy forty, 40. 40. Uh, yards per week. Um, and now now am I gonna round this any type of way? Uh, so I know that this is exactly there's five thousand two hundred eighty feet. In a mile. Because I believe that that's a definition. That's not rounded, yeah. is it? I think it's how we define a mile. This is a definition. This is exact. Yeah. So all this stuff is exact. And so if I say, like, I eyeballed somebody and clocked them going three miles per hour approximately, then that's one, that's one sig fig. <clears throat> but if, I, if I'm saying, hey, exactly three miles per hour, how many yards per week? I could be saying three point zero 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 zero. Yeah, I could be saying that. So it depends on, on the situation. If I say I was hiking through the woods and it was about three miles per hour, then we would have to say 
that's like 900,000 yards per week.